Hey dolls and dudes, it's your girl Odessa here and I am back with another video. Hey, what's up? Allow me to introduce myself to people in this world who might feel lost and need a little help Cause I can be the courage that you need And help you to a place to realize that you can succeed Hey, should you pay attention to focus on what your life means? I will listen to the haters as they come for you or me Nah, no one really knows what their future might bring On my pan, I am going to melt three tablespoons of margarine butter whatever it is that you have i used this sunflower it says soft luxury spread now that this is melted i am going to add my seasoning right here i have sweet peppers onions and some cider and i'm just gonna throw all this into the pan and just mix it up nicely now if there are any other types of seasoning that you would like to use feel free to add it into your mix but for me that's just what I'm going to be using while this is cooking I'm going to add some of chef's garlic powder I love the taste of garlic, so I'm putting a lot, but it's up to you to put how much that you want. And I'm also going to add some onion powder into the mix. Even if we already use the real onions, I still like to use the real and the dry seasoning. And just make all these seasonings work together. Now remember, this is going to be a keto-friendly meal, so uh, of course, uh, the spread that we use has zero carbs in it. So when you are buying whatever it is that you are using, ensure that you read the nutrition facts and see how many carbs are in each thing that it is that you use. Now right here, I am going to be using some coconut milk. Now, coconut milk is more keto friendly because if you can see right here, it does not have any carbs, less than one gram, zero percent. Now, if you're not cooking this as a keto friendly meal, then you can use probably heavy cream or something like that. But because we're trying to make it keto friendly, we're going to use coconut milk. The coconut milk will give it a nicer taste, you know, it's a coconut taste, and it also has zero carbs in it. So I'm just going to use half the can. I have turned up the heat a little bit, and I am going to now place my titi wee. In Dominica, we call this titiwi. Basically, it is baby fish. I really don't know what they call them in different islands, but in Dominica, we call it titiwi. So it is just basically baby fish that I have seasoned and I have put there to marinate in its seasoning. If you all would like a seasoning video on how I season my different fishes and meats, then please comment down below and tell me what it is that you would like me to do. In this seasoning, I put a lot of curry in it because I love coconut and the taste of curry together.
just ensure that you mix this up nice and good and from there you can put the remainder of the coconut milk into your dish just to give it a little bit more taste because I am a big thing on taste I'm gonna add just a little bit more curry powder onto it too much but it's okay curry and coconut milk oh a match made in heaven in my opinion curry and coconut milk goes so well together Now we're just going to cover this and make it simmer on low heat and ensure that everything gets cooked nicely together. Now guys, if you are looking for a keto friendly meal, you just serve this with a side of lettuce and avocado pear and you are good to go. That is a perfect, well-balanced meal. But if you want to have a keto-friendly meal, meaning you want to have the majority of the ingredients keto, but you want to have something on the side, then I have some potatoes that I boiled in pepper and salt. And you can just add this to the stew titiwi. Again, put your fire a little bit higher this time and just make it boil a little and you are good to go and here we have it guys a nice hot dish of stew titiwi with potatoes don't forget to rate comment and if you're new to my channel subscribe bye